In this lesson, I'll show you how to calculate the osmolarity of a solution. Question one reads, the osmolarity of normal blood serum is 0 0.30 OSM, which represents osmoles per liter. Show that the osmolarity of 0.90% mass per volume sodium chloride solution is the same as that of normal serum. I want to start off by writing out the dissociation equation for sodium chloride. Sodium chloride dissociates into sodium ions plus one chloride ion. And as you can see, there are two solute particles here. So I'll write down a ratio, two solute particles per every one mole of NaCl. The fact that there are two solute particles tells us that there are two osmoles of sodium chloride. So I can write down two osmol is equal to one mole of NaCl. Now, another thing that we need to keep in mind is that 0.90% is the osmolarity for this solution and its mass per volume. All percentages can be converted into a fraction and that can be done by dividing the percentage by 100%. So if I divide 0.90% by 100%, it's no longer a percentage. And using our calculator, 0.90 divided by 100 is equal to 9 over 1,000. So 9 over 1,000, where the top represents the mass. Generally, for mass per volume ratios, we use grams at the top and milliliters at the bottom. So those are the units I'll use. So, so far, we have come up with this ratio and technically this ratio. We need one more ratio, which is the molar mass, the molar mass of sodium chloride. And you can use your periodic table to help you do that. So you find the molar mass of an individual sodium atom and the molar mass of an individual chlorine atom. You should end up with 58.44 grams per one mole. Now watch this. If I take this ratio and flip it, where I have one mole at the top and 58.44 grams at the bottom, and I multiply it to the concentration converted into a fraction, this number, 9 grams per every 1,000 milliliters, this gram unit and this gram unit will cancel out. Furthermore, if I multiply this statement by two osmoles per one mole of sodium chloride, this unit and this unit will cancel out. Because remember, that's one mole of sodium chloride, even though I didn't write it down. This leaves us with osmoles per milliliter. And one last thing that I forgot to mention is that osmolarity is osmoles per liter. So our final conversion needs to be from milliliters to liters, where I have 1,000 milliliters per every one liter. This will effectively give us the osmolarity. Let's go ahead and use our calculator now. We'll multiply all the numbers at the top of these fractions together. So 1 times 9 times 2 times 1,000. And then I'll divide all the numbers at the bottom. 58.44 times 1,000 times 1 times 1. And we end up with 0 0.308. Notice how it's the same as what was written in the question, 0 0.30. So let's write this down. OSM, osmos per liter, sodium chloride solution. If you'd like to see the answer to question number two, leave us a comment below and we'll gladly upload the solution. Hope to hear from you soon.